welcome back to the Tuned and Toned podcast. Um, we are here again at Big Ben Strength and Conditioning in a much more awkward position than normal with Coach Brian Chambers. Um, today we're going to talk about the low ab and oblique activator or opener, depending on how you want to call it. Um, this one is really, really good for, again, if we're talking uh, large core muscles, so we're talking anything that helps to keep you upright. Um, this one for me really really helps with the low back, which is really really great um, and in general um, it's, it's great for seated position. It's great for standing position anything you have to hold and as a wind player It's also been helping my wind playing. So that's an extra bonus there um, So let's talk about where the low abs and the obliques are and what we're trying to do with them um, so the low abs and the obliques uh, low abs for me find your belly button go about three inches below, uh, and this is a supine exercise, which is why Brian is on the floor. He's currently finding his low abs. About three inches below is where your low abs are gonna be, kind of give or take. Um, and then if I put my hands in this sort of position here, where if I brought them together, they make a little bit of a, I don't know, spade kind of thing. Um, find the low abs, your thumbs will naturally go to the obliques. So what we're looking at with these, um, this is low abs and obliques versus your four pack. Four pack muscles are typically right up under the, um, sorry, not typically, they are right up under the rib cage, right below that. Um, these are the ones that people tend to use for things like sit ups and um, when crunches are not done necessarily correctly, this is what we go to. Um, so we're not trying to target these here, we're looking just at these. Um, and we're looking at it's still a flexation, it's still tension, but we're looking at expansion versus contraction, as Brian has demonstrated. Contraction would be in here. So a lot of times when people say core muscles and core work, we think in, hold everything in, which is not helpful for stabilization, it actually makes you less stable, versus pressing out, which gives us a wider base to be on and a much stronger base. Um, and actually, I've known plenty of people with very low abs and obliques who do not have that distended look. So don't worry about that. Um, so finding these, we're going to go ahead and put our fingers and our thumbs back where we were a second ago, find the low abs, find the obliques. Um, the easiest way to find these I found is just to laugh, ah! <laughs> which sounds really funny to say. Um, and every time I say that, I get that weird look of like, you want me to do what? But then they laugh about it and they find it. So. <laughs> That's the best way I've found to find them. And you can kind of feel them when you laugh, really expanding out, pressing into your fingertips. If you're laughing and you don't feel them, you're probably in the wrong spot. So search around and find where those are. Okay, so, um, and if you can't feel them at all, the game just becomes try to feel those muscles. All right, and that's true if you can't find them with your fingers, and that's true in the actual movement that we're about to do here. So, with the movement itself, with the actual opener, Found our low abs and obliques. We're gonna inhale. And then as we exhale, we're gonna expand into our fingers and thumbs. And we'll use the kettlebell here so you can kind of see, um, even with, he's gonna put it on his low abs, how much movement there actually is. significant amount of movement and that's inhaling is when it's going down not the sucking in right it's just inhalation at that point um, so we're getting pretty significant range of movement here um, if you are without a kettlebell which most people starting off don't use a kettlebell um, that's really more of an advanced technique um, but if you've got your fingers here and you're expanding outwards and you're noticing so we've got the two ab low abs here and the two obliques Say you're noticing that you've got your right oblique, your right low ab, and your left low ab, but not your left oblique. Um, what you can do to kind of increase your sensation there, increase the muscle activation there, is just dig in a little harder. Not hard enough to hurt yourself, but just a little bit harder. Um, the idea is that by creating additional force, additional pressure there, we give the muscle something to press against to make it stronger, okay? Um, and again, while you're doing this, low and slow, like you saw Brian demonstrate, and avoid as much as possible, try not to use your four pack. We wanna get that out of the way as much as possible. 
Um, so just low and slow into the fingers. Um, starting with, let's try five of them to start with. If you can, I mean, if you can do it. Back movement. Right, yeah. Um, if you notice movement in your lower back, as in it feels like it's expanding or rounding into the floor, that's actually a good thing. Um, so don't freak out about that. That's part of why it's helpful for the low back. So when you're starting out, about five reps of those, rest for a couple seconds. You'll know about when you're ready to start again. And then maybe do two or three sets of five total and just be done. Um, expansion beyond that, really, it's very individual. Um, if you have questions, you can, of course, reach out to us. But this is the, uh, I think this is about what we want to talk about with the low abdominal oblique opener, right? Yep. All right. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Brian, for being our uh, demonstrator again. Uh, if you have questions about this or about expanding it a little bit more, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can find me at tunedandtonedperformance.com. That's tuned with a D and toned with a D. Also on Instagram and Facebook at Tuned and Toned Performance. Um, and we also have our YouTube page. Just type in Tuned and Toned Performance. We come right up. And Brian, do you want to sit up and do any books? No, we're good. No, we're good. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs>